So here I am. Um, so what keeps happening, hi. What keeps happening to me is that um, I'm supposed to check out at noon. By noon, it's now almost 4.45. And we and so of course they've given me a new, I love this key though. They've given me a new key. Isn't that great? And so let me see if this works. And I have the don't, I love that don't. Good, good. See if I can do this right now. Aha, uh -huh, there we go. And I can change this don't to do. So they can change this up. So, okay, so here's my room that I left this morning. And now you can see it's evening sun. And um, yeah, so I keep forgetting to check out. Um, so I, you know, I go down to my presentation in the um, conference rooms. And so the idea then is, okay, noon at lunch, come. Oh, look, airplane, they land. Um, see, all these is in the flight path to land at Pearson. An ex-partner of mine used to love to go sit at the bottom of the runway at Pearson with a whole gang of people who knew that this was a thing, who would basically sit there and watch planes land and they were at the foot of the runway because it was just as the planes are flying down to hit the runway that they love that you know the, the the air whatever the thing that blow back from the plane so they're all like they're sitting with wind blowing them you know and if you're you know certain kind of hair type it blows back or you just sit there and they usually put on sunglasses because you know it affects their eyes and I swear to god it was people with their families their kids you know they had coolers and you know, picnic this and tables and, you know, sitting out just like it was a big outing. And they're just sitting there chilling and there's a whole community joking around, talking, pointing out. They knew all the flights. It's like somebody, they studied the flight path. And then my, I didn't realize my ex, that was what he was into as well. And it's this funny thing how you can be with a person and not realize what's important to them. And then I had to think about, was there a way that didn't allow, you know, you're with a partner and you don't give them space to be all of who they are. And so, yeah, it was interesting, but I don't know, I got um, now, you know, distracted and off in a tangent about that because of the flight path landing, but I just remembered that. And so right now, literally, um, today is what, uh, Wednesday, I think it's April, the, I want to say it's the 9th or 10th, I don't know why I'm blocking on that, um, it's one of those days, um, so anyway, that doesn't really matter, I'll put it in the description of this video so you'll know for sure. Um, and um, I'm here up at the Novotel North York Centre, which is up here at the North York Centre subway st stop, which is between Finch and Shepherd um, on the Young Line. Um, so I think this place is called, is it Morse or more? I think it's Morse Road or something. That is this kind of east-west. And then what I'm looking at is you're looking north, uh, north Toronto, um, into the, I guess that's up towards Finch and beyond to Steeles and whatever, whatever else. Um, and then this is all the glut of condos all along the path. Oh, look, there's people in a damn place. Oh, what I wouldn't give for a balcony. That's my one thing, you know? Yes, we have this beautiful outdoor garden and whatever, and it's gorgeous with the pool and all that, but boy, I would love the idea of your private little outdoor space to go into. So, you know, the next move, that will be a priority for sure. Because I already miss it, even though, even though I have to say, I lived somewhere for how many years without outdoor space, and did I barely go out there? Because most often when they're going to make left me out and go about to go out the street. So I guess I'll just do, keep doing that now. Um, anyway, so here I am. Oh, it's a cute little buggy. And uh, those tiny cars are like the rage at the moment. All right, so there it is. All right. Yeah, so I'm checking out. <laughs> like I'm now, it's all I bought. It's probably five o'clock now. What time now? No, no, no time, honey. You know, that's the thing when you want like a little clock, like regular. Remember regular clock? And yeah, that's just the temperature. And there's that sound. All right, let's go. I peed downstairs, so I don't have to pee or anything. It's a bad situation. I out, I hear. I think that's got everything because my coat, because it's not very warm in Toronto. 
it's like what 70 degrees or so today so we're heading towards spring and oh yeah it's the gorgeous time it's like when we're it's when we you know we complain complain and then suddenly it starts to get gorgeous like this and you're like okay i'm in canada it's where i live because it's gorgeous it's gonna get gorgeous now it's gonna get green it's gonna get lush it's gonna get pretty it's kind of activities are gonna be happening that are gonna be like ah, the lifeblood that of course when you live in the tropics and in the global south there's more off um and then of course here you know all kind of resources right so what can i tell you you don't ever want to romanticize the south because there are lots of things that if you're not part of the power structure there but that's the other thing to say oh that got a ground floor so i have to give them back the key and the popular check out so yeah so we can romanticize all we want but unless you're part of whatever systems of power and privilege and then of course it will be the social inequities so you might have resources but the homophobia sexism all kinds of stuff depending on their intersectional experience because of course you can also live in environments that are actually quite open and embracing and then others that just aren't like it is here as well even with policy and laws going for us all right here, I'm gonna check out now properly. Okay, and this is Novacell North York. All right, we're done. <laughs>